The most common complications are musculoskeletal in nature in that there's progressive um, loss of mobilization and progressive loss of function that results in a uh, loss of um, orthopedic function. So that can result in atrophy, dystrophy, uh, myopathy, um, as well as uh, the secondary consequences of not utilizing the affected area. For example, if somebody has CRPS of the, of the right foot, they're not going to walk right. They're, that's going to affect their gait and that's going to have them favor the other limb and it's going to produce secondary musculoskeletal conditions in the other limb. So myofascial osteoarthritis and acceleration of that osteoarthritis and also spinal pain. They may, for example, because of their altered uh, gait and altered function and, um, and, and uh, biomechanics. They may, for example, have an accelerated osteoarthritis of the spine, a herniated disc, uh, spinal stenosis, all of that occurring concomitantly with both peripheral disease as well as spinal disease to produce secondary pain. There could also be a uh, spread of, of, the, uh, of the pain to the other limb as well. So not so much musculoskeletal pain in the other limb, but comparable neuropathic pain in the other limb.